subscribe, please. Hey guys, welcome back. It's your favorite Gimp with a Limp, and I am here doing an unboxing. I haven't done one of these in a while, uh, but Gimpy's gal isn't going to try to guess this one, so I wanted to unbox it real quick, show it to you, and I'm going to be doing a review through on this one here soon, maybe in the next couple of weeks, as soon as I get a little table time with it and uh, get my head wrapped around it. Uh, the company actually contacted me and sent me this copy. They asked me to take and do a, a review video for it. So I'm happy to do so for them. It is published by Linden Lake Games and Ludi Creations. The designer is this gentleman here. I am not going to try to pronounce the name because I know I will uh, butcher that. And the game is obviously 1918 Brother Against Brother. Uh, this is a Finnish game, I do believe. It is based on the Finnish Civil War. Let's take a look at the back real quick. See what it shows. Now, it is going to have both English and, I'm assuming this is Finnish, uh, language on it. You can see it's divided here and it has the other language and the components in the game are included in both uh, fashions as well. And it's got a little blurb about what the game's about. Two players, 120 to 180 minutes playtime, uh, 12 minute up play. You can see a example of the counters over here on the left. It does come with a mounted game board. That's really nice. Uh, 206 counters, 55 cards, rules and then some uh, assorted player aids and dice of course so let's take a look real quick and see what all comes in it pop the lid off here and the first thing we come across is our mounted game board i do love it when they have a mounted game board it makes it so much nicer let's go ahead and just fold it out since it's right here on top and see what all comes with it all right very nice all right let's layer down here it's not too big. Actually, it fits on the table quite nicely. I gotta say, I like that. Uh, looks like it's a uh, area to area, point to point game set in Finland, obviously. Not sure what all the different symbols mean, but I'll figure that out soon when I take and read the rules. What do we have up here? Attacking unit battle table, defending unit battle table. So maybe this is a printed on the game board combat results table that would be really nice if that's what this is it looks like on the game board itself words that are in black are in the finnish language and then words that are in this uh tan greenish color are in english that's nice so they've at least got both on the board and then up here at the top we've got a little uh, i'll try to let you guys see it i'm guessing this is a yeah, a little rules sem uh, summary printed directly on the board. Okay, I like that. And it looks like it takes place in January, February, March, April, and May. Let's down over here to the left or to the right. And then we have a key down over here on the bottom right showing what the different uh, different symbols mean. Strategic town, ordinary town. So all these are the different towns. Port or a German landing site rather, road, two movement points, railroad, one movement point. Okay, so the roads are these black lines connecting the different points. The red dashes are going to be railroads. And then what is this? Initial front line. Oh, okay. And this red dotted line here is the initial front line. Okay, I like that. That's really cool. I like it. And then initial placement of units is the different... Uh, colored in squares that are across it. So uh, I like it when they've got it color coded, easy to read, simplistic. So if you played a game uh, similar to this, you should be able to jump right into it. Let's see what else we have here. It's got a player aid for the historical variants for the game. And then the other side of it is the other language, like I said. Let's see, we've got our rule book, which actually, wow, it is very small. It is not very thick. 15 pages. Full color, glossy, the usual, what you would expect. I like it. To, the print is large enough in case you've got not the greatest eyesight, so you'll definitely be able to see it. Color coded as well. So my guess is the game isn't going to be uh, overly complex since it is point to point and the rule book is not that large and it doesn't look like the counters have an abundance of information on them either 
so I'm not expecting it to be the most complex game I've ever played, but sometimes you just want a little simple uh, war game to try out, so I'll be reading that here soon. Okay, here we go, setup table. Oh, I like this, it looks like it's for, yeah, location of units at the beginning of the game. So this tells you who is what and where they go. I like that, that definitely makes it a lot easier. And then the different reinforcements you get for the white player, red player. I'm not sure which side is which. And again, we've got the other language on the other side. I'm thinking this is the rule book in their language. Yep, that's what this is. So you've got two rule books. If you can read both languages, you've got a bonus copy. And here is our counter sheet. And it is one sheet, but it's one large sheet. It's folded over here. So you see how you have red and white units, some blue ones. I'm not sure who they represent yet. Let's get a close up of the counter so you guys can see what all they show. Infantry, two, three. I'm guessing it's either movement and uh, or attack and defense or attack and uh, movement. Something along those lines is probably what the, uh, the numbers represent. I'm not too sure what these represent. They could be um, uh, control markers, like which side controls which towns if you take them over. And the one thing about the counters is they don't have the English language printed on it. So I'm not sure what these are. I'm going to have to read the rules to figure that out. Might be This might be a turn marker. These might be like controls for uh, different cities. Over here we have whatever these units are. Oh. Uh, do they have the English language on the back? Maybe, no, nope. it's reduced side on the back. You can see, we'll take a look at that again here in a sec. And then we have the white units, some more red units and some more area control markers. So overall, not too difficult. I'm sure since there's not an abundance of information on these counters, that it's not gonna be too hard to take and learn the game, even if it doesn't have uh, English on all the counters. Does it have it on the back side? No, nope, it doesn't. Ah. And you guys can see that I'm accidentally poking the counters out. Actually, this, ah, and we poked one out and dropped it. So we'll grab this one. You guys can see that they come out really easy, nice cut, plenty thick. So I don't think that's gonna be an issue as far as the counters are concerned. Poke that back in there. Let's see what else do we have in here. Um, war, okay, oh, I like it when they do stuff like this. This is a just little brief history of what you're playing. The War of Many Names, the Finnish Civil War in 1918, and it looks like it gives you the brief historical summary of what happened during that time period and what you're actually fighting about, who's fighting who. Okay, the Whites are the White Guards, Imperial German Army, Swedish volunteers, tells you the leaders, casualties. Uh, the Reds are the Red Guards and Russians. And then some more prominent leaders and casualties. Okay, it's really neat. I'm definitely gonna read this over. And again, you guys can see that it's divided in the two different languages. We do have a couple of dice in here. And something I like about this, uh, these are the wooden dice, right? And you don't see very many of these in game boxes anymore. You usually saw it in the older games, but they're just, they're cool. You can hear them when we, you know, <laughs> shake them near the uh, mic. But yeah, I like the little, the feel of just the little wooden dice. You don't see those too often anymore. And then we have a big pack of playing cards, but if you look at the colors, you'll see that there's cards for each individual force. And then there's two packs of cards in here divided there in the center. So again, I'm assuming they have one section of English cards and one section of Finnish cards. So, and of course the Finnish ones are on, the ones on top. I'm not gonna take and uh, tear these open yet. I will show them off when I do a playthrough of the game itself. All right, so that's it. That's what you get with it. Not uh, a whole lot. I do like the fact that it's got a mounted board that will make it a lot easier. But uh, you guys give me about a week or two and I will have a review through up for you guys. All right, that's gonna be it for me. Y'all take care. I'll catch you in the next one.